Hello everyone, it's Kat here with Lunar Sun Creations. I just wanted to apologize first for not uploading a video for such a long time. I have been working on my first uh, PDF tutorial for a mini album that I'm going to have in my Etsy shop and I really underestimated how long it would take me. It, it took me about a month. I worked every day on it. It took way longer than I thought it would, but it's finally ready to go. The paper collection I'm using for the is Graphic 45's uh, Voyage Beneath the Sea. You can use this tutorial with any paper collection that you desire. It uses quite a bit of paper. I used a full 12 by 12 half of a 6x6 six six and the ephemera cards, so you do need quite a bit of paper. There's a lot of flips and flaps, etc, etc. And yeah, so let's check it out! Okay, so this is my Voyage Beneath the Sea album. It is an 8, 8.5 by 8.5 I believe the covers are. Yeah, the covers are 8.5 by 8.5. The pages are just shy of eight square. So this is the cover. I've um, done some um, layering. I cut out some of the images and did some layering. I wanted it to look like waves. I've added some um, uh, chipboard netting, like laser cut netting there, and some seashells and some uh, cogs and a metal piece here. Um, this is the opening it's all it's magnetized on the spine I've got this incredible image and then on the back I love these seahorses so I magnetized a little opening there so you can write what the albums about and we'll open it up So the uh, inside, front and back cover I left really simple and on the first official page we've got a flap that goes up which is magnetized, Some uh, I used an embossing folder, it is the Spellbinders um, 3D Embossabilities, the Shell Beauty, so I used that there and embossed it and then this part is magnetized and opens up and then opens up again and I've done some stamping with the uh, the Kaisercraft uh, Coastal Escape. Okay, so I did some stamping there, and you can still there's still lots of room to journal. And then this opens up like that, and then there's a large pocket here. Oh, I don't have any tags in there yet. And then on the next page, now we've got a little bit more of the um, oranges and yellows. and So uh, I've got one of the um, ephemera cards there. And then this is a waterfall with a twist. So each page opens up. And I left this blank because it's the perfect size for a 4x6 photo. And each of these flaps are magnetized and that one goes out like that, a little bit of stamping there and then goes open to the other side, so just extra room, so it's a waterfall plus. So you can put 15 pictures just on this one page and it all magnetizes back up. I've uh, done paper strips in between like on the in the gussets just for a little added interest. On this side, I've popped this up on um, with some dimensional foam tape and double matted him. And then this opens and it says I'm really a mermaid and this is uh, open at the top here so you can stick a photo in there. And then this opens to the side and then this opens to the side so there's lots of room. And then this also opens like that, and that uh, stamped image again. So, I mean, even 5 by 7 photos will fit on all of these areas, so lots of room. Uh, the next page spread is uh, with the blues. So I've got a couple of the little um, Tim Holtz uh, pull tabs, and I've attached them to little uh, cogs, and these both open up and this is a pocket and I've used a Tim Holtz die 
um, for that there. The Tim Holtz die has starfish, a seahorse, and a sand dollar. It's the sand and sea alterations. Okay, so we've got that there's the pocket, and then it also opens this way, and I've used more of that embossing folder there. And the same on the other side. And then over here, we've got uh, two little turtle swing tabs. And these little flaps open. And then on either side, we've got a pocket. And some paper piecing up there. And this opens to the top. And then the whole flap also folds down on the next page. So this part here opens up and then this opens and there's a magnet there as well and this reveals a pocket. So we've got some of the ephemera cards. There's that image again in the pocket there. And that ensures that they don't fall out. And then the whole thing folds down. And then on this side, I've got a couple little seahorses there to match the starfish over here and bring in some of the blues. So they open to the side, lots of spots for journaling there. And then they also both open this way. And the whole thing opens up in the center to reveal another pocket. And some of the ephemera cards there. And then on the last page, so this is like a big belly band. So this whole belly band flips up for lots of room. But there's also this inside, so this is magnetized and it opens up and these are for some smaller photos so you can get eight photos on these small flaps and then two larger ones with some journaling down at the bottom and just some starfish stamping in the center there and that fits back into the big belly band like that and then on the back cover. I love this image. This was one of my favorites. So I really wanted to showcase this one. And yeah, so it's just double matted again and with some little corners. I love my little the little corners just to tie it all together. And that is the album. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, it is a little bit of a it is a little bit chunky, but like I said, once you've got the pictures in you know, it'll really spread out, so I didn't want to make the front and back covers too crazy. And yes, so the PDF tutorial for this, it will be um, a large PDF tutorial as well as um, video. So I'm going to go through, I go through all the construction of the pages and the uh, cover. Uh, and, the, and the binding in the PDF tutorial and then in the video I go over all of that again in video format as well as um, I kind of go over the uh, a little bit of the decorating. I don't do the entire thing with you in case you're using a different paper collection but I just kind of show you what can be done and, and some ideas for um, doing embellishments that don't uh, I don't use a lot of flowers in my albums just because they seem they push the pages too much so I tend to use a lot of embellishments that are fairly flat uh, but that's just me you can use whatever embellishments you desire so that's where your creativity comes in alright and there it is so I hope you love this album as much as I do thanks for stopping by and checking this out and there will be more videos soon to come thank you Bye.